The Big Bang Theory is presently the most commonly accepted explanation for the creation and development of the universe. According to this hypothesis, the cosmos started as a singularity and has since expanded. Recently, some scientists and theorists came up with an interesting argument that our universe may be inside a black hole. They claim that the Big Bang Theory was wrong and we live inside a black hole. Everyone is curious to know what could have led them to this claim. Is there new evidence or observational data on this argument that would cause us to amend or even discard the Big Bang hypothesis. The Big Bang Theory is a fascinating hypothesis that has caught the minds of scientists and non-scientists alike, allowing us to comprehend how the universe originated and evolved through time. According to the standard Big Bang concept, the universe was created at a single location, encompassing time, space, and matter. All matter and energy in the cosmos were condensed into one little, highly dense hotspot. Then, some 13.8 billion years ago, this singularity underwent a process known as cosmic inflation and started to expand quickly. In a fraction of a second, the cosmos expanded exponentially by at least a factor of 1026. As the universe kept expanding, it cooled, permitting the formation of subatomic particles. These particles gradually coalesced into atoms, which merged into the first stars and galaxies. These stars and galaxies developed over billions of years, generating the universe's current intricate structures. This process is still ongoing, as shown by all distant galaxies traveling away from us. Furthermore, the farther distant a galaxy is, the quicker it is traveling away from us. This is compatible with the universe hypothesis in which space is expanding. The greater the distance between two points, the quicker they may move apart. This is often represented as dots on a balloon. When the balloon is inflated, the drops are separate which shows they are further away and move apart more quickly. The cosmic microwave background radiation is crucial evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. While the observed abundance of light elements in the cosmos such as hydrogen and helium is another vital piece of evidence, the theory has effectively described many of our observations of the universe. Still, it needs to address several riddles. For instance, the theory does not explain the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which comprise the bulk of the universe's mass energy. In addition, the theory does not explain why the cosmos seems so finely tuned for life. With the precise physical constants and circumstances necessary for developing complex structures such as galaxies and stars, could this be why these scientists and theorists claim the Big Bang Theory was wrong? Before we look into that, let's give you a quick rundown of the black holes. A black hole is an area of space with gravity so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its attraction. It's a point of infinite density and zero volume at which the general physical principles break down. The singularity is formed when a giant star runs out of fuel and performs a supernova explosion. It leaves behind a remnant so dense and massive that it collapses, generating a singularity. The event horizon, which surrounds the singularity, is the point of no return for everything that enters a black hole. After an item passes the event horizon, it is imprisoned and cannot escape the black hole. The event horizon determines a black hole's size and mass, which is is proportional to its mass. There are three categories of black holes, stellar, intermediate, and supermassive. Stellar black holes are the smallest, with masses of up to 20 times that of the Sun, and intermediate black holes have masses between 100 and 100,000 times that of the Sun. In contrast, supermassive black holes have millions or even billions of solar masses. They are located in the core of the majority of galaxies. Studies have shown that black holes are not immediately observed since they neither emit nor reflect light. Nonetheless, their presence may be inferred from their impacts on the adjacent matter. When stuff falls into a black hole, it warms up and releases radiation that telescopes can detect. This radiation may provide information about the black hole's characteristics, including its mass and spin. There are a variety of weird and intriguing features of black holes. When one approaches a black hole, time seems to slow down, owing to the immense gravitational forces. In addition, black holes may warp space-time and light, resulting in gravitational lensing and time dilation. Although black holes may seem exotic science fictional entities, they are crucial to our knowledge of the cosmos. They play an essential part in the development of galaxies and their severe circumstances offer a unique testing ground for our understanding of fundamental physics. Scientists are optimistic that as they continue to research black holes and their characteristics, we will unearth even more intriguing insights about the nature of the world around us. We anticipate more findings from them and hope for a better 
better understanding of the cosmos. However, how does this prove the Big Bang Theory is wrong and explain that we all live in a black hole? A few years ago, scientists found what they thought to be an ultramassive black hole weighing around 40 billion solar masses. That is, its mass is 40 billion times that of the Sun. This monstrous black hole is located 700 million light years from Earth and is one of the most massive ever detected. This discovery proves it may be possible that black holes with masses of more than 100 billion solar masses exist. In principle, if scientists were to uncover one of these ultramassive black holes around the size of our solar system, there may be a stable region inside the black hole where intelligent creatures could reside eternally. A black hole known as a Riesner Nordstrom black hole is particularly significant in this context. They revolve and have an electrical charge. Some scientists believe a whole planet may dwell inside a black hole without being consumed. This is because black holes of this magnitude possess a second limit beyond the event horizon, a so-called inner Cauchy horizon, a region inside which things become relatively stable and smooth. Radiation and tidal forces are rather modest here. The notion that we inhabit a black hole is not as absurd as it sounds. Black holes distort space and time to such an extent that space and time switch roles. For someone plunging towards a black hole, the radial dimension becomes time, and the temporal dimension becomes like space as they approach the singularity. The black hole singularity encompasses a space-like region of space-time that acts as a barrier, so that anything falling in strikes the barrier at different spatial points along the singularity's extent. The two well-known predictions from this are that, from inside a black hole event horizon, you cannot escape, because the only way out is back in time. The center singularity of the black hole, which is indefinitely squeezed, is also predicted to be in your future as you fall in. At that point, people have yet to learn what occurs, since the known rules of physics essentially break down. The theory of quantum gravity, whatever it ends up being, could explain it. Still, we are still determining what it will be. According to the Black Hole Big Bang Theory, or BHBBT, stuff from the universe's mother universe crashes into a black hole. The singularity of this black hole is located at a single location in space relative to everyone in the universe's mother. Because of the inversion of time and space inside the daughter universe, what was formerly a singularity in space is now a singularity in time, similar to the Big Bang. This implies that all stuff dropping into the daughter universe from the mother universe will vanish from the mother universe and reappear at the first point of the daughter universe jumbled. In addition, what emerges from the Big Bang is not just the stuff at the birth of a black hole, but every matter that has ever fallen into it. This is because time near the singularity of a black hole is fundamentally perpendicular to time in the mother universe. Since time and space may be distorted, stretched, compressed, and twisted oddly, a whole universe can exist inside another. What looked to be a dead end at a black hole's core was a portal to the genesis of a new universe. Universe. The singularity is a point in space for an observer located outside of a black hole, known as the distant observer. However, the signs of the space-time metric components, R and T, are reversed for an observer inside the event horizon. Now, from the perspective of a nearby observer, the singularity exists in the future. At least for some singularities, the BHBBT proposes that once matter reaches the singularity, it enters a new world in which time at the singularity is the starting point. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.